All right, pretty cool, pretty exciting project today. I finally got the exhaust for the C8 and I'm about to try to install it. I've never done an exhaust on a C8 before and I was looking around on the internet and there's not many videos out there on how to install C8 exhaust. So I thought, why not make a little video on how I do mine? Like I said, never done it. So it's gonna be kind of a learning curve for me, but I'm gonna try to cover all the steps and be as, as informative as possible when putting this thing on. So like I said, my exhaust just came in. It's a full stainless um, cat back exhaust. So it connects at the cats all the way back to the tips. I just unboxed it. So I'm gonna show it to you guys and then get started on the install. First of all, before I get started, 2021 C8 Corvette. The install should be the same for any C8 2020 plus. And what I have here is a full stainless alpha speed exhaust you can see it's cat back which means these two pieces are going to connect right at the back of the cats and it's going to be a full exhaust all the way out to the tips um this car does already have stainless headers and a cat delete which isn't going to affect the install process for the exhaust but i just figured i'd throw that in there so you know this car already has stainless headers cat delete and then factory exhaust. So once I put this on, it's gonna be a full stainless exhaust from the engine all the way back to the tips. And a little overview of what we have here, you can see this is like the main piece that's gonna connect right at the cats, behind the cats. Come back, we have a little H pipe or X pipe, whatever you wanna call this. And then you have two of these little side pieces that come out to the tips. These have like a little nine inch muffler in them. And these are pretty much see-through, so there's not much of a muffler there. So this car is pretty much gonna be straight piped all the way out. I went with some black tips since, you know, my car's all blacked out anyway. I think the black tips were an obvious decision. And that's the whole exhaust. This is about a $1,500 kit. And the quality looks pretty good so far. We're gonna see how the fitment goes, I guess. So let's get started on this install. I do wanna have a before of the exhaust so I'm gonna get in the car real quick, start it up and do a little rev so that I gotta have a before sound and then a after sound of the full exhaust. So that was a before exhaust rev. Keep in mind that the car does already have headers and a cat delete. So it already is louder than factory, but hopefully it's gonna be a lot louder after we get this exhaust put on. First things first, go ahead, jack the rear of your car up, get the back tires pulled off so you have access to the inner fender well. Um, I went ahead and jacked the car up, removed the rear tires. Pretty self-explanatory, didn't think that I needed to show that. And then second step you want to do is you have these two plastic pieces here that are right here at the back of the fenders. You have one screw on the bottom of this and then you just pull this off. It's held on by clips. So you want to pull that piece off. And then the goal here is to remove the inner fender liner so you have access to the back bumper and the exhaust. So you just have a handful of little screws and plastic rivets that hold this inner fender liner in. I've already removed those. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna pull this fender liner back and kind of fold it up into the front of the fender to get it out of the way so that I have access back here to the exhaust. And then that way, I don't actually have to remove this thing all the way out. So now you can see I have full access in here. There's the exhaust. And I have access to all the bolts holding the back bumper on. So now I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same exact thing to the other side. Now I have both inner fender liners moved up out the way, so I have full access to everything I need access to. Now, the goal right now is to get this whole back clip off of the car, so now what you wanna do is go under the car and start removing this like skid pan plate plastic panel here. Looks like it's a bunch of uh, quarter inch screws or something like that. You can see mine's kind of busted up from bottom and out and stuff. 
So mine might look a little different than yours, but that's what I'm gonna do is take all the screws out of this plastic piece and get this thing dropped down out of the way of the car. This is the piece I just removed from under the back of the car. And this is probably gonna end up getting left out when I get the exhaust put back on my car because you can see most of this is all broken up anyway. And most of these clips are broken on mine. So it was just kind of hanging there anyway. And I'll probably end up leaving it off. So now that we've got the inner fenders pulled back, the bottom skid plate took off. Now what we're gonna do is come along the top here and there's a bunch of screws right along the top here that are holding this whole rear piece on. And then I think there are one or two screws up in here that are holding the fender to the rear bumper. So we're gonna get all those screws out the top. We're gonna come find these screws, take these out on both sides, and this whole rear section should come off the car. Here we go, the whole back clip is about to come off. So there's two screws in here. You access right here, not hard to get to. And then there's 14 screws across this top edge. And there's two hidden down in here that you're gonna miss because I missed them. So take that one out. Take these 14 out the top here. Like I said, the hidden one right in this corner. Get that out. Wherever it's at, I can't point to it right there. Two screws in here. And now I'm about to lift this whole back clip off. When you get to this point, just make sure you have a nice soft blanket over there to set your rear bumper on so you don't scratch it all up. And we're just going to see if I can lift this right off like it's supposed to come off. All right, so there's a few electrical connections holding us up in here that hopefully I can get real quick. So one, two, so three electrical connectors, pop those off, and it looks like we successfully have the rear bumper off. Okay, so the rear bumper's off. Now we have full access to the exhaust under here. The hangers, you can see the hangers right here that are holding the exhaust. And then another hanger here on the outside. And I just set the bumper down kind of like this to prevent any damage. Didn't want to lay it on the paint. And now that we've got that off, that was pretty simple. Mostly just screws and pop rivets. Now we can actually work on getting this exhaust pulled off. It looks like there's two hangers, one on the side here, one on the front, so two on each side. And then obviously we have to get to the header bolts where it actually connects in. In order to access the flanges right here and get this taken apart and put back on up in here, I went ahead and just popped a few screws out of this piece and this comes right out. And then once you get that out, you can come around and just bust all these screws out and take this panel out and you'll have access right down on top of the bolts that hold the exhaust on. So that's going to make it a lot easier for us. So I went ahead and decided to go ahead and take this out. Okay, I highly recommend going ahead and taking this out because as you can see, now that I got this out, boom, we have complete access right there to those header bolts that we need. And if you have a drill and a bit, it takes all of an extra two minutes to go ahead and get this taken out. So we're just gonna throw that to the side. And I think now we can officially start actually removing the exhaust. Okay, I've got the exhaust on the ground, so let me catch you up on what I did. It kind of went pretty quick. It was actually fairly easy, a lot easier than I thought it would be. So let me flip it around and show you how I got the exhaust dropped out. So once I got all the panels and everything off of the car, I got access to the bolts that I needed to get to. Um, I basically just climbed up here in the trunk and sat in here so that I could reach one arm around here and one arm here to undo the flange bolts. There's two on this side and there's three on this side. They're pretty easy to get to, a lot easier than I thought they would be. You can see those three and you can see those two. So got those out and then I came back around the car and these two hangers right here, these rubber hangers, you just pull these off with your hand, you just grab them, slide them right off of here. You can see they stay on the exhaust, one on each side. And then you have two more hangers, on, one on each side, one here, and one over there. And those just bolt in 
right under here. So you drop these two bolts, you slide the side one off, and then your exhaust drops out. Now, when you get the exhaust dropped out about halfway to the ground, you need to reach up in here and unhook your little uh, valves that open and close the exhaust. So those are just clipped on there. And that's pretty much it. It was actually a lot more simple than I thought it was gonna be once you get the bumper and all the trim off. The muffler itself came out fairly easily. So it's fully out now. I just gotta drag it out from under there. And then I'm gonna be able to start installing the new stainless steel exhaust finally. If you stayed this long, we're almost there. We've almost got the job done. I think the hard part's done. Um, I got the main piece bolted up to the headers. And all I did was I just took that main piece, slid it up in there, got all the bolts in and started. And then once I did that, I just went back, tightened them up. It really wasn't that bad. Two bolts on the driver's side, three bolts on the passenger side. Make sure that you get your gasket in there. Don't let that fall out and don't forget that because you're gonna have an exhaust leak. And now that I have that main piece in, really I can go ahead, throw the trunk back in the car, throw this panel back in because I'm done in here. And then all I'm doing is working on getting these outside two pieces on, getting the bumper back on, and then getting the tips on. So I think we're in the home stretch here. I'm gonna go ahead, throw the panel back inside in here in the trunk and then i'll be back trying to put these on okay guys it's looking it's starting to look exciting we have some shiny stainless steel underneath the back of the c8 i threw the trunk back together so the trunk is complete it's bolted on i threw the two end pieces on here that was pretty simple and self-explanatory you reuse these mounts from the old exhaust and then these inside mounts they don't get reused. So you just have the two outside that bolt on and two clamps right here. So the exhaust is actually on right now. I still have the tips laying here that I need to put on after the bumper goes back on so that we can make sure that it's all aligned real nicely. So this install is, is coming to an end. I think at this point, I'm just gonna double check everything and then I'm gonna work on getting the rear bumper thrown back on the car, buttoned back together. And then we may have some adjustment here to get the tip straight. And I'm super excited to crank this thing up and hear it, but I could do it now, but I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm gonna wait till I get it all put back together to fire it up. So let me get this bumper thrown back on and let's hear this thing. Guys, here's the moment that we've been waiting for. The exhaust is fully on. I slapped the bumper back on, just repeat the way that we took it off. I tightened up every all the clamps, and then I threw the tips on. It was pretty easy, pretty straightforward, so I went ahead and did it. And the sun's coming out, and it's getting pretty miserable out here where I have the car to work on it. So I won't, just went ahead and slapped it together, got it done. I haven't started the car yet, so I'm super excited for the first startup. I'm about to put the camera on the stand here, set it up, and we're going to do our first start up with the new full stainless alpha speed exhaust so here we go headers no cats full stainless It came down off the high idle, so sounds good right now idling. Let's give it a rev.
Yo, I don't know if the camera can actually pick that up, but this thing sounds so amazing. It's so <laughs> loud. It's actually crazy how loud it is. So it's got headers, cat delete, full stainless exhaust. There's basically no muffler. There's a little nine inch muffler on each side. It sounds insane. I'm gonna have to do some drive-by videos now just so you guys can hear it better, but this is crazy. So that is full exhaust install on a C8, super smooth. Actually was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. And uh, went a lot smoother than I thought it was gonna be. It's kind of intimidating because you have to take this whole bumper off, which actually ended up being fairly easy. But there you have it, full C8 exhaust install. Sounds absolutely amazing. And now I gotta go drive it around. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope this helps somebody on their exhaust install. Appreciate it and see you next time.